What would happen if you got sucked into a black hole? Would your insides immediately be squeezed out like a professional thumb wrestler crushing a tube of toothpaste? Or would you enter an undiscovered world where the laws of physics no longer apply? New research discoveries in holographic screens have challenged our perception of the laws of relativity, leaving scientists to believe that black holes have the power to reverse time itself. Let's explore why this is and how emerging theories of white holes may be our first insight into interdimensional travel. Unfortunately for us, no one has ever been inside a black hole to see what changes occur firsthand. Out of the 107 billion people who have ever lived, only 12 have gotten to hang out on the moon, so we're still many years away from black hole scuba diving. Since we can't take anyone's personal account with time in black holes, for this thought experiment, we want to break down our understanding in three easy steps before we send you inside one to find out. First, we'll find out what black holes are and why our galaxy is filled with millions of deadly, invisible space vacuums. Then we will take on time and determine exactly what it is. Numbers, arrows, biological compasses to the universe, or a made-up concept stuck inside a stoner's head, keeping them up all night when they have work in the morning. Wait, if time isn't real, then what the hell is a morning? Oh man, I'm freaking out. Lastly, we'll combine the two complexities and examine what scientists theorize happens when time and black holes have an epic collaboration. And once you've graduated your black hole and time crash course, we're throwing you into a supermassive black hole feet first so you can let us know exactly what's going on in there. So get out a pen and paper or the notes app on your phone or a Google Doc, or maybe a therapeutic coloring book? We're not exactly sure how people take notes nowadays. Whatever it may be, prepare yourself to enter one of the universe's great mysteries and discover that maybe the real black hole was in your heart all along. It's not, though. If that were the case, you'd be dead, and so would the rest of us. Why is that? Black holes are points in space that are so dense, they create deep gravity sinks. Gravity, for those not familiar with Apple science, is the force that draws an object towards the center of a larger mass. It's what keeps our feet grounded on Earth, Earth orbiting the sun, and what sucks anything that ventures too close into a black hole. The gravitational pull of black holes is so powerful that even light gets sucked in and cannot escape, thus giving it its dark, invisible-esque appearance, hence the name black hole. It's like quicksand in space, but instead of drowning in killer mud, objects trapped inside black holes are stretched and compressed like putty in a theoretical process known as spaghettification, making black holes like the big magical olive garden in the sky. Professional poster model Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. However, due to their appetite for light, Black holes were a struggle for astronomers to find in the midst of all the shining and glittery objects that make up the night sky. This changed, and Einstein's prediction became fact when the first black hole was discovered in 1964, when astronomers used X-rays to spot a bright blue star in the Milky Way orbiting a strange dark object, with materials being stripped away and gobbled up by said mysterious object. Since then, NASA has estimated that there are 100 million black holes in the Milky Way, with 40 quintillion around the corner populating the observable universe. The closest black hole to Earth, dubbed the Unicorn, is approximately 1,500 light years away. So if you're ever taking a stroll 1,500 light years away, remember to stay sharp and bring a strainer, because you could be stuck there for a while. So we know black holes are there and what they do, but what exactly are they? Did they start as little black hole babies, sucking on stars like a pacifier? Of course not, that would be silly. The actual answer is far less adorable to imagine. Black holes are born from the death of stars more massive than the sun. When a star runs out of the nuclear fuel that makes them shine, their core collapses into black holes under their own gravity. Black holes also come to be from the collision of neutron stars, 
and grow from stripping away the material of these stars. We could use the baby imagery for this process, but thinking about it gets morbid rather quickly. Not all black holes are the same. The family tree consists of four types. Stellar mass black holes are the most common in the universe. Miniature black holes are similar to stellar masses, but have room to grow. And intermediate holes are bigger than stellar masses, but still mostly a mystery to scientists, as we've only seen very few. Then there are the behemoths of the universe, the supermassive black holes. In Einstein's general theory of relativity, it's predicted that supermassive black holes can have masses equal to billions of suns and likely lurk in the center of most galaxies. It is still unknown how exactly supermassive black holes are formed, as they are far too massive to be formed from a single star. However, scientists can study one in our own backyard after the discovery of Sagittarius A star in the center of our galaxy in the early 2000s. Now that we have a firm understanding of black holes and how they're the best slurpers in the universe, it's time to ask ourselves. I mean, what does it's time for something even mean? If time is a constant arrow, or just an illusion in our heads, how can it be used for specifics? And if clocks aren't real, then why did my parents make me go to bed at 6 p.m. on Saturday nights, and then all of their friends come over and make strange sounds downstairs? Well, once again, Einstein has a theory of relativity to explain these things. But this time it's not general, just like you. It's special. Einstein's special theory of relativity suggests that experience of the flow of time is relative to the observer and their situation. There is not a universal master clock that determines space-time. Instead, your perception of time changes based on the different elements you are exposed to. One of these elements is speed. Simply put, the faster you are, the slower you progress through time. So while we perceive time as moving forward, that's because it is relative to us, which allows us to use it as a tool to determine specifics and ascribe meaning to the past, present, and future. But what happens when time interacts with something that isn't relative to our laws of physics? You know, like the bad boy of the universe who dresses in all black and goes by their own rules? Like a black hole. It's time for our exciting blind date between our two cosmic forces. Let's start off with a joke to break the ice. Let us know in the comments if you've heard this one before. The time walks into a black hole bar and the bartender says, Taisi Akat, ni emlo clu ole. The imaginary bartender would speak backwards, according to new research published in the Physical Review Letters that expands our understanding of general relativity laws. The research team found peculiar physics happening inside black holes, specifically that time may flip inside of them. The paper's publishers, Rafael Busso and Neto Engelhardt of the University of California, Berkeley and Santa Barbara, report the new area law based on the interpretation of black holes as curved geometric objects called holographic screens. Holographic screens, in this sense, are a local boundary to regions of strong gravitational fields, where future screens correspond to gravitational fields pulling matter together, whereas past regions of screens spread matter out. The new research suggests that areas of future holographic screens are always increasing in one direction, while past holographic screens always increase in a second direction. Therefore, Depending on the area time passes through inside a black hole, time would move differently. Specifically, time would run backward in future screens of a black hole, where entropy, laws of order, decrease due to the extreme pull. But instead of just taking their word for it, why don't you see for yourself? I hope you've been taking good notes because now is your time to shine. Well, not shine in this instance, in fact the opposite, but you know what we mean. Since gas prices are still high, let's venture relatively close to home and leap inside Sagittarius A star. Now, we know what you're thinking. You're not an ambitious noodle who finds its ultimate purpose through death, so you don't want to be turned into spaghetti. 
this is completely understandable, and why we're not sending you to a stellar mass black hole that would cause these effects. That's why you're heading to a supermassive black hole, where the gravitational pull is much stronger than a smaller hole, but the stretching tidal force is less. So you're inside of Sagittarius A star, and you decide to leap in like you're eight years old at the local pool and the lifeguard just called off Adult Swim. First, you'd slip over the event horizon and go past the point of no return. Or is it? You could see inside the hole, but no one could see you due to the absence of light. To us, you'd be dead. But don't worry, we promise to throw you a cool funeral and probably put up a statue in your honor. But it's when our connection is broken that your mission begins, as you search for white holes. First things first, let's clear up what white holes are not. They're not a black hole's evil twin that's been missing for 10 billion years and suddenly shows up to stir up drama and claim the family inheritance. If you consider that as a possibility, it seems your time in the black hole spaghettified your brain and, and now you'll be subjected to a life of pondering ridiculous theories. White holes are a theorized part of black hole's full life cycle that acts as a quantum tunnel Put simply, if black holes suck things up, white holes spit them out. The theory suggests that white and black holes are connected by an interdimensional tunnel known as a black hole. So after the supermassive black hole inhales you like a sugar addict stranded on a deserted island finding a bag of Skittles in the sand, you may be transported to a whole new, uh, um, a whole new something else. Well, that's for you to figure out while also finding a way to report your findings back home. If you can't find a white hole right away, don't worry. Being a part of the life cycle, the theory suggests that all you have to do is wait, and the black hole will turn you into a white one after billions of years, and you can find your way out then. But if you're still worried about time, don't stress too much, because despite Busso and Engelhardt's new theories, more research suggests that due to the intense gravitational forces, Time instead would speed up inside a black hole, and the billion-year wait would feel more like a matter of milliseconds. It's up to you to find out for sure. So hug and kiss your friends and family goodbye. Your space Uber should be outside any minute. Wait, did we decide if a minute was real or not? Well, this is too. Just stare out your window until you see the big metal pointy thing roll up. And while you're at it, bring some marinara just in case.